Diversity and inclusion for me in my personal life doesn't really exist because my life is very diverse and the people I surround myself with and I feel very included in everything I do. But when you cross over to a corporate world, you realise that you walk into industries that a lot of people don't look like you. Uh, I'm very outspoken, very abrasive, and very straight to the point. You know, being a black woman that isn't always encouraged, that isn't always accepted, or it makes people feel uncomfortable. And that's what's in, what's out, and we can't tell them what's happening. But the truth is, young people are kind of hard to reach um, and not come back. Diversity is a, a wide topic because honestly, nowadays I feel like companies they use the word diversity for money so let's say they'll put in like ethnic groups let's say they'll put in like let's put a black person or an Asian person and then they'll put in like I don't know a Spanish or Hispanic person into one like group and then they'll be like everyone else will be like yeah 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 look they're doing diversity like we never see this before it's usually just like a group of white people but I feel like they do it for money some of them like I don't feel that, like you can truly look on TV or anything and be like this is diversity because I just don't trust it anymore. It's, it's more than just bringing people in um, of different ethnicities um, and it's not always about race, it's about different thinking, different backgrounds where they come from. Everyone has to be included, everyone. I, I don't believe that anyone should be left out. It's not just about bringing people in, it's about actually understanding those people, giving those people the luxury to think how they think um, because a lot of what happens is they bring a ton of people in but they don't nurture them, so then they just start to conform to what's happening. How people should be more authentic, especially corporate businesses should be more authentic because at the end of the day, transparency is the thing that's going to help drive these businesses forward. The, the, the dialogue needs to be there and that something needs to be done and we do need to be able to talk about it without feeling insecure, without feeling that you know, we're out of place. Instead of using that as almost a tip box, kind of put it into perspective of no, this is the way it's going to be. Because essentially, we're all human, we're, we're all part of the same society, why aren't we all represented to the same level? When I was growing, when I was growing up, I, had, I remember like specifically having two people uh, black figures that I looked up to, there was Opa and there was Diddy, and they kind of represented both of my personalities. Because I'm like as crazy and as blunt and as forward thinking as Diddy is, but then Opa had this like thing that I never had, which was like this regal, like, like emotional understanding of people. And just seeing those two people be at the heights of like the entertainment platform. Honestly, a celebrity wise that's inspiring me would probably be Monroe Bergdorf because of the what of her work and stuff and the way she talks about um, racism in the black and ethnic minority communities. Bilal Al Habishi. And he was a. Uh, for me, he was a superhero. It was unheard of in like when I was growing up in like 1999, 2000s. Like these black people are millionaires, they're billionaires. It just never happened. It was always the Bill Gates, it was always the, the Apples and all these big brands and seeing them come out from like the rubble and create their own life for themselves and be completely self-made just for drive. He was a slave who came to Saudi Arabia and he was one of the first converts to Islam and he was he accepted Islam when many didn't and he the reason why for me he was a superhero was it was one of the first times in that religion showed there is no difference in race and he converted to Islam and became one of the first followers and he was known for his good character as well as his voice. I'm a really person who my mind. Diversity and inclusion partner with NCB's network. <laughs> so we spoke a lot about authenticity, creating um, our own stories on whatever platforms we want to reach the audience that we intend to reach. What has been at today's event been like for you? It helped me to believe in myself. Yeah. To believe in what? Like to do what I want and something that I enjoy. 